Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing my nighttime skincare routine with you guys. Um, I do want to do a quick disclaimer. Skincare is very personalized. So it is very difficult to make recommendations to people when I don't know anything about their skin type or their sensitivities or anything like that. Um, everybody's skin is different. Um, we all have different concerns. We all have different sensitivities. We all have different textures. Um, so just keep that in mind when you are watching this. Um, however, the products that I'm going to be sharing in this video are products that I have been using for quite a while and have seen improvements with them. Um, so that is why I am sharing my routine with you guys. Um, anytime that you are wanting to start a whole new skincare routine or start a new product that maybe um, is a little more... Uh, I don't want to say intense because that can sound like intimidating when it comes to skin, but something that's a little more involved than like a cleanser or a moisturizer, something that's more of a treatment. Um, make sure to do some research on it. Maybe consult with an esthetician or um, a dermatologist. You know, I always recommend going and getting a facial somewhere um, and talking to somebody who knows what they're doing and express kind of what your concerns are, what you think your skin type is. It's always good to know kind of those fundamental things when you're starting a skincare routine or starting to um, look for different products to add into your skincare regimen. So um, always proceed with caution. Um, they A lot of products will recommend that you do a spot test. Um, I definitely recommend that if you are someone who is sensitive um, because you definitely don't want your whole face and neck and chest to break out. So. Anyway, that is my disclaimer. So as far as my skin though, um, I am on the dry side. I do not have a lot of sensitivity. My skin is pretty tough, um, which is good and bad because it's not as sensitive to certain products. So it takes longer to see results, but then it's also good because I can try more products. But um, so I'm dry, not very sensitive. My major skincare concerns are the dryness. Um, and then I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. Um, I do have a diagnos diagnosis of melasma, um, which is that heavy pigmentation. Um, so you will see a lot of brightening products in my routines. Um, and then of course, anti-aging. Who doesn't want to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines? So those are kind of my big three. Um, occasionally I'll get some textures, some zits here and there. Um, it just kind of depends. They kind of just pop up whenever they want. I do feel one coming through right now. So I will go ahead and show you guys um, some of my spot treatments as well. So first things first in my skincare routine, um, at night I will always remove my makeup. Now I don't wear makeup every single day, but most of the days I do. The product that I use to take my makeup off, which I'm probably gonna catch some heat for this and I really don't care because it's convenient, are makeup remover wipes. I know, I know I just gave this whole spiel about anti-aging and I know makeup wipes aren't 
super good for you because they pull on your skin, but whatever. These are so, 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 so good. These are the Kirkland Daily Facial Towelettes from Costco, okay? So this is the old packaging. However, I just went there this weekend and I got a new box and this is what it looks like. Right here, okay? So if you're going there, this is what it looks like, okay? And I believe it's $14.99 and you get 180 wipes, okay? When you find me a cleansing balm that will take all of my makeup off and last me over half the year for $14.99, come talk to me then. Okay? Anyway, what I do, I just take one wipe and I actually have swatches on my hand from the video I filmed before this. So we're just gonna go ahead and take those off as, take that off as well. So like completely gone. Okay. So anyway, I just take these wipes and just remove my makeup. So just go along my hairline, get in there. And I always blend my foundation down, so I do go down onto my neck. I'm just gonna do like half my face so you guys can see how good of a job they really do. Um, and this mascara I have on, it's like, part tubing so it doesn't always come off with just the makeup wipe. I do need water to actually remove it. And this lipstick I have on is the NYX um, XXL Lingerie. So any of you that have that know how extremely difficult it is to take off. And this does it. You'll also notice that I am getting all up in my eye and it doesn't burn at all. Like they're so gentle. Okay. Like. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do the other side. All right, you guys, so here you can see I have all my makeup removed. Um, so then after this step, I will go in and wash my face with my cleanser. So obviously I'm not in my bathroom, so I will go do that. And then I'll bring everything out and show you all of the products that I use. We're back and completely zoomed in on my face because that's what we're here to talk about. Okay, so I just washed my face. To cleanse my face, I used the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Okay, and I just used warm water, wet my face, do that. Let it all in and then Sometimes when I feel like I need a little bit of a deeper clean, I will use my PMD, um, which is just a, it's like a vibrating device with scrubbies, like silicone scrubbies, but really any silicone scrubbing facial brush will work. Uh, Foreo is another one, but Foreo is like super expensive. Then it's like PMD. But you can get just like any like little finger scrubby one and do it manually. You don't need like a battery operated one. Um, so yeah. Okay. And then the next thing that I go in with is those brightening peel pads. So mine are from um, my med spa. 
So these are an AHA peel pad and they have vitamin C and hydroquinone in them. So they have all those good um, brightening agents in them. And what I do is because I have dark spots and hyperpigmentation all over my face. I just do this all over. Get in there real good. Do it under my eyebrow. And then I also take it down on my chest, which we don't need to show on camera. <laughs> take it down on my chest to get that area as well. Okay, and then now that I have done that, um, if you are somebody who wants to have like a brightening agent, um, but doesn't have access to like a med spa or anything like that, I would recommend the, oh my God, Ula Hendrickson Glow 2O Toner. It comes in a blue bottle with like white writing on it. I would recommend that and then I would get yourself some cotton rounds to use to put that on with. Um, and that is a really good brightening toner and it's probably going to be much more affordable than like something from a mountain spot. Okay. Okay. The next thing I go in with, which when this is gone, I will not be repurchasing this. I'm just kicking it out of my routine, but I don't even know how to say this. Ar Argeline solution, 10% by the ordinary. It's supposed to help with wrinkles. I'm still wrinkly. We're almost all the way through, but this is a super liquidy formula. Um, it's kind of more of a water base, but what I just do is I do that on my forehead and bring it around my eyes a little bit. That's it. Okay. And then I started using niacinamide last year. Well, yeah, probably about this time last year. And it completely helped clear up acne. It's also supposed to help um, brighten, but this is the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% by The Ordinary. And this is just a little bit of a thicker solution. I just take a little bit of that. And I focus that more in this area, like where I have to wear a mask. <laughs> where I have to wear a mask and get masked me. But then I also do a little bit on the forehead. Okay, and then for those of you who were wondering or had noticed, I guess, um, I did start using this really good retinol again. Um, let's see, it would have been like a week ago. Um, so I do have some spots where my skin is like peeling. That is normal when you start using retinols, especially retinols that are um, higher intensity. So this again is also from um, my med spa, but this is 0.50% tretinol. Um, so if you are looking for a retinol, I'm not even going to throw out any recommendations because there have not been any that I have tried on the market that I have liked. So, um, this is the best one. Um, you can get them from a prescription from your dermatologist or I bet like an esthetician or somebody, they may have a line that they recommend. The thing with retinol is you need to be careful when you start using it. You need to use it probably like once a week, twice a week for two weeks, 
and then you can start doing like every other day and then you'll eventually build up to be able to do every day for most people some people still have to do every other day so just use cautiously and you will start to notice like a little bit of peeling or like pilling of your skin that is normal it is sloughing that top layer of skin off which is what you want okay um you also need to wear sunscreen if you are going to use a retinol you should be anyway but you really really need to think about what i just said you are peeling your skin off wear a sunscreen okay all right and then next i would go in with a moisturizer so right now on my dryer days i am using the waleda skin food um and this is like super hydrating like i only need a little bit oh other thing with retinol um pea size is what is recommended for retinol use so fyi um and i was told by my esthetician that you don't need to use an eye cream just take your products up under your eyes, including your retinol. Just don't get super, super close. But, um, yeah, just take your products up to your eye. You don't need an eye cream. If you still want one, I'm not going to tell you not to buy it. So, buy it. Okay, and then um, I still have my scar right here. And um, my skin is still really tight right there. But I can't start massaging it till six weeks after surgery um so right now i'm just taking a little bit of mederma and putting that in that area just to help with the scar and then we'll work on the scar tissue when it gets a little bit later and i do have a scar here so i just rub my extra right there <laughs> okay then there's a few other things I wanted. That's my normal skincare routine. Then I go in with a couple of other things. Please hold. Okay. Then I go in with my Grande Lash MD. And I just put that on my upper lash line. To grow my lashes. And then for my lips, I use Blistex Medex. And this is super cheap. You can get it at like most grocery stores, CVS, Walgreens, all them have it. And it's usually like right by the register. Next, I want to talk about some um, like treatment type products. Um, so I use those uh, chemical um, acids and like peels and stuff like that. So typically I am using a chemical exfoliator rather than a physical exfoliator. But you know, sometimes you just need a physical exfoliant to just get something off. I don't know, tough makeup, um, maybe you've been outside all day, maybe, um, I, I don't know what else it would be. But if I need that, I go for the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. This stuff is intense. This is that like puke green color. Uh, can you see that? There that ugly green color and it's intense um you can leave it on for like 30 seconds and you really don't even need to leave it on for that much but your face will feel so fresh after you use this it's crazy um so with all of the acids and stuff that i'm using i don't even use this once a week i just use this like as needed like 
try to not use it all that often. So one little bottle like this lasts me a long time. So, but that is really good one. Okay, acne, spot treatments. I don't get like all over acne. I get like things like this. So for spot treatment, I'll go in with the Origins. This bottle is so tiny. Origins Super Spot Remover, okay? You see how tiny this bottle is? But this will last you <laughs> like crazy. So, oh, it's a little crusty. I haven't used it in a minute. So what you do is you just open it and just get like a teeny tiny little dot of product and just put it right on there and it will help dry your zit up. Um, I don't even know what's in here. Salicylic acid, there you go. And that's all that it says. But this will last you like a really long time. I, I I think it's under $20 for this little guy, but it will last you a long time, like several months, okay? Other recent discovery for acne spot treatments are these guys. This is the COSRX Pimple Patch. So this is the kit and I actually got just like the smaller thing um, that only had like 24 patches or something, but I recommend the kit. So the kit comes with like a whole bunch of sheets and it comes with 72 of the normal ones. Let's see if I can get one of these out. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, so it comes with like the normal ones. You see them in there? Okay. But then it also comes with the ones that are like super, super, oh, and they have like varying sizes. So these are the ones that are super clear and they are so thin. So like, um, these are the ones like you're going to wear to bed and stuff. Okay. The clear ones though, like you can wear them like out in public and people like may not even notice like I've gone and done stuff like gone golfing or whatever and I'll put one on one of those clear ones and then I'll put like a little bit of CC cream over top and like if I'm like five feet away from you you can't even tell it's when the pus <laughs> starts to come out and the patch turns white that's when you can tell and it looks gross. So just be on the lookout for that, but super good product. Um, and they will like minimize your zit life like to a quarter of what it would be. It's crazy. Okay. The other thing I wanted to mention is just another moisturizer. This is what I'm using on the days that I need, uh, don't need as much moisturizer. Um, I'm using that right now, the Waleda one, because I am switching the retinols and it's getting colder. So there's just a lot more dryness. However, um, the first aid beauty ultra Re Hair cream is what I have been switching on and off with. Um, I don't have like a true nighttime moisturizer. I'm always trying different ones just to kind of suit whatever I need, uh, like during that season or that time of year, um, just to meet whatever I need. So, you know, I'm always trying out different ones, but I really like those two right now so but that is everything in my nighttime routine i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys use any of these products and if you like them if you didn't like them let me know thank you guys for watching we'll see you in the next one